All right, y'all, if you're ever in the area and you see this man doing that, that can only mean one thing. That means we're about to fire up the grill because there's some type of venison, probably wrapped in some type of bacon, about to get cooked some type of way. And that means there's gonna be some kind of deliciousness. Stay tuned, y'all. We're about to show you how it's done. Hey, y'all, Jim here with Simple Life Tennessee. We're gonna continue our wild game recipes as today we're gonna have some venison stuffed back straps. These are not gonna be completely stuffed in the traditional method. Typically you would butterfly these open like I'm about to do right here. Just wanna make a nice little slit right down the center of this, okay? Because all we're wanting to do is open that up. But not open it all the way up to where it goes all the way through because then it's gonna just fall apart. We don't want that. We're butterflying that open. I'm gonna stuff some pieces of bacon in there and then we're going to wrap it. Now you could butterfly these the same way and actually stuff this. And that's gonna be another one of my favorite recipes I'm gonna show you in the future. And we're gonna stuff this with a cream cheese mixture with a bunch of different spices and seasonings. But right now we're just gonna get that open like that. I take a piece of bacon that we have pre-sliced. We're gonna stuff that down in there. And what this is doing is venison is a very lean meat, a very dry meat. So you, it doesn't have any really natural fat that you're gonna be able to cook with. Well, this, so this bacon is gonna give it that fat, but it's also gonna add that flavor to it. I prefer any type of hickory smoked bacon. Any of the other stuff that has sugar in it is just gonna burn up on you, okay? So I'm gonna be able to wrap it this way because we're actually putting it in a rotisserie press that's gonna hold it together. The other part would be is if you wanted a more permanent solution, you would actually use toothpicks. We typically don't do that. So go like that. That'd be more than enough for that piece. And what I've used is this is one pack of bacon. Now what you could do is if you don't want to have to do it the way I'm doing it and you don't have a press, you would actually keep these pieces of bacon whole I wrap them all the way around and try to stuff it back into the center part. That is another option. Well guys, you saw how I did it. Mike walked in and looked at me and said, brother, you must have lost your mind. That ain't nearly enough bacon, okay? So, come on back down here. We're about to add some more bacon to it. And he said, brother, bacon makes everything better. Hey, Mike here from Rugo Outdoor Adventures, doing a little special collaboration with Simple Life Tennessee. We are doing some venison back straps. They are pre-seasoned with Smokehouse Maple Grill Mates, wrapped with hickory smoked bacon. We're getting ready to put them in our little rotisserie press, and we're cooking them over charcoal with a rotisserie motor. About 30 minutes, and they will be Perfectly done. Mm -hmm. 
This holds it all together, so you don't need toothpicks or anything like that to try to keep the bacon on. Because after we do this, press it all in there, that bacon will cook right into the meat. Let's go see if our charcoal's ready. You do have to make sure your charcoal's lit good, otherwise your food will taste like lighter fluid, and you do not want that. Gotta make sure she's gray and red hot, cooking in the middle. And I would like to introduce you all to the newest member of the family. Turn around, say hi. This is Lexi Girl. Do, 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 do. She just officially became part of the family today. We adopted her. Yay, Lexi Girl. She's just a puppy. She's only eight months old. Okay guys, we are gonna cook it on rotisserie for approximately 30 to 40 minutes. It just depends how hot the charcoal gets. You have to keep an eye on things when you're cooking with real charcoal instead of a gas. But uh, let's come back 30 minutes, see how we're doing. Right, guys, we gotta check it. Mm. So it looks about perfect, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna call it down. Hey guys, we got the meal cooked. We're getting ready to do a little taste test here and enjoy it. We got some fresh green beans, some garlic toast, along with the delicious bacon wrapped venison. Let's see how she turned out. Oh, look how tender that is. Mmm, 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 man, that's good. Now guys, just in case you can't trust the chef, we brought in his harshest critic, his brother Russ. Let's see what Russ thinks. It is tender. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, that's good. All right, guys. When two out of two Arrigo say it's good, you know you, you know it's good. good. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're going to shut up and get to eating. Remember, the best things in life are kept simple. We'll see you again soon on Simple Life, Tennessee.